Hello, I'm Wes the Explosion, and this is the Backlog. So, I played through Puchi and Yoshi's Wooly World for the 3DS this week, not to be confused with Yoshi's Crafted World, which is on the screen right now. I'm sorry, I don't have a capture card for my 3DS, so this is the stand-in. Anyway, what's the game about? Well, one day, all the Yoshis are just chilling, hanging out, and having a good time like they always do. But then Kamek shows up, says, I'm going to turn you all into yarn, and proceeds to turn each Yoshi into five bundles of yarn, which they then put in their sack and fly away. One Yoshi managed to hide, so they start chasing after Kamek, who drops some yarn in each level. Which brings us to the collectibles in this game, which... If anybody's played Yoshi's Island or any of the other Yoshi-type games, you can probably guess what they are. The first are jewels, which they're scattered throughout the level. You collect them to buy temporary power-ups before you go into a level. But 20 of the jewels are special and they grant craft badges, I think they're called. Which think red coins in any of the other Yoshi games and that's pretty much it. The next are flowers, there's five in each level, and if you collect enough flowers, like all of them within a specific world, you get an extra stage. Also when you get to the clear gate, if you manage to hit a flower on like the rotation going around, you get an extra level for Poochie that we'll get into that later, but pretty much just think an extra little mini game level. Then there are also the hearts, which you can get up to 20 hearts. You start each level with, I think it's 5, maybe 10, but that determines how many times you can get hit. So you try and get it up to 20 and make it last throughout the entire level. That's another clear completion. The last thing you collect, you try and find 5 bundles of yarn so you can reassemble one of your Yoshi friends. So yeah, pretty much... Kamek has dismembered all of your friends, and you try and hunt around to find their severed pieces so that you can reassemble them. Luckily, since it's yarn, there's no, no obvious stitching, at least not the Frankenstein type, I suppose. So, wow, that really adds some stakes, doesn't it? Now, the mechanics are pretty similar to most other Yoshi games. You eat things, but instead of becoming eggs, they become balls of yarn, which you can use to interact with things differently than just the eggs. Of course, they still activate things like the winged clouds and the like, but there's also some stuff that if you hit with it, the yarn will actually cover it and make it tangible or something like that depending on what the object is, so that's a neat little touch. There are six worlds, each with nine stages. The first three stages, just regular stages. The fourth is a boss stage. Then five through seven, regular stages again, and then eight is the world boss. The ninth stage is an extra one if you manage to find all the flowers in the previous levels, which I didn't do. I, I, I feel like collecting things in Yoshi is like what the crazy people do, so I, I just played it, I guess, a bit more casually. Now, as I understand it, this is a port of the Wii U title, Yoshi's Wooly World. They added the Poochie to the title because you get the extra Poochie stages, which, I mean... I played a few of them now and again, but since you need to specially unlock them, it's kind of a pain, you know, opening everything up. Not only that, but they're just kind of... It looks like you play pretty much the same as Mario Dash, or is that Mario Jump? But you continuously move forward and your main way of doing things is you just jump to try and collect the most stuff. You can also duck under certain obstacles. And a lot of the objectives that you want to complete on each level don't appear until after you beat it once. So it seems to be one of those things that they want you to play it over and over again. To try and memorize the stage so that you get the most optimal path and you know where all the obstacles are. Which, 
I picked this up more for a platforming experience, so this didn't really do much for me. But I'm sure there are some out there who really like it, especially since it's extra content compared to, you know, just what the previous game was. Now, this was a fun little romp. I don't regret my time with the game at all. There are some frustrating bits, especially the frickin' Ice World. My goodness, I swear they did everything in their power to make that one a pain in the ass. But for the most part, it's an enjoyable experience. It does get some taking used to, because, like, especially with some of the bosses, early on, I'm thinking about it like a regular Yoshi thing, and I'm just plinking eggs at them, but they'll want you to do things like unravel parts of the boss's armor with your tongue, which I forgot that was a function when I was mentioning it earlier, where if there's a loose string, you grab it with your tongue, and boom, you pull away the string. And yeah, you just have to pay attention and really just get into the game's thought process of how do they want me to tackle this? I had a lot more trouble, I'd say, with some of the earlier bosses just because I didn't know what they wanted me to do, but by, like, I'd say the third world, that was when I just started doing it and thinking, oh, of course this is what they want me to do. Of course they want me to lick up this stray string. Or of course they want me to hit this part of the boss with yarn because that'll tangle it up and it won't be able to use that part and it'll trip and fall. So yeah, yeah. It becomes intuitive the more you get used to it. Which is a neat little, little aspect of it, I'll say that. Now, all this kind of brings up the question, which one would be more worthwhile, the Wii U version or the 3DS version? And while I can't say that I've played the Wii U version, I can at least hazard a guess. Personally, I think I would have enjoyed the Wii U version more because I would have had it on a larger screen. I think I would have really enjoyed it. This has a very cute little art style, so I think having it on TV would have been better for me. But I know some people, the extra Poochie content is going to be worth it to them. And also, quite possibly, just the being able to play this portably. So, it's really going to depend on what you want out of the game, I think. I mean, honestly, if I wasn't playing more games at home these days, maybe I would have enjoyed the portability more. But since I was sitting in front of my computer while I was doing it anyway, it didn't really make a much difference to me. So, yeah, your mileage may vary. Choose what's right for you. I would recommend the game, but keep in mind that I will also say that, with the caveat that the game I'm playing right now on screen, Yoshi's Crafted World, I thought that was a much better game than that. So, if you're a fan of the Yoshi-style games, you can give it a try. But if you're just looking for the best Yoshi game, I'd probably give it to either Yoshi's Island for the Super Nintendo, or Yoshi's Crafted World here. So, yeah, take your pick. That was the only game I got cleared off my list, but that was because I was spending the rest of my time on another project, which was getting a Cuphead playthrough done for the Let's Play channel. I will link to the channel in the description and possibly at the end of the video as well if you're interested in checking it out. So far, I have about half the game up there and the other half should be coming within the next week. But yeah, Cuphead, it's still really great. I had an easier time playing through it this time, but that's because I've now played through it three frickin' times. Of course, I'm gonna get better at it as time goes on, right? So yeah, it's cute. It's charming, it's challenging, it is just overall a great game. And if you want my actual, you know, thoughts on it, well, in real time, maybe give that a look. So, not too, too much action this week. Starting up the Let's Plays again leached a little bit more of my time than normal, but hey, I got some other stuff done on top of that. Don't worry, the cats are now vaccinated for the next year, so that's a plus. And I also finished my local taxes, which make me feel slightly better about procrastinating on the other two sets of taxes, but also make me more anxious. Was really worth learning how to calculate the area of a square and not how to submit something that I'll be in big, big trouble if I don't get done every single frickin' year. 
school. Only one game came off this week, so slow but steady progress. I'll take it. Thanks for watching if you've made it this far, and if you're interested in this sort of thing, I try and get these out once a week, so perhaps consider subscribing, and maybe I'll see you again next Sunday if nothing goes horribly wrong. Tally-ho, cheerio, have a good weekend.